after year. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Wednesday, the 13th of September. Yes, we are going to go to unit, we are going to finish unit 12. Well done for you. Yes, pages 146, 47, 48, 149, and 150, the mini review. We are going to check activity book pages 92, 93, 94, and 95. Um, we are going to uh, give this vocabulary with start. We are going to highlight all the grammar charts. Su hijo tendrá revisión el día 5 de octubre. So you must study for the revision, yes? Do activity book as homework, only the pages there and the, the exercises that are in brackets. Then you have to write an article with um, 100 and uh, of 120 words about a place you know or would like to visit. Yes? Tenemos, tienen que ver el ejemplo que está en el ejercicio 1, que también voy a proyectar, voy a explicar. Yes, I will explain how to write an article. Yes, ok. Uh, y sería el ejercicio 3 de la página 149. Write an, art, an article about a place you know or about... Um, a place you would like to know. Okay, is it clear? Right, so let's go to the pages. If it is okay, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Okay, well done. So there we are 92, 92, 92. Okay, exercise one weather. Two, tornado. Three, flood. Snowstorm, number four. Five, sun. And six, thunderstorm. Yes? Okay, so let's go to page 93. Exercise four. Yes? Okay. One, didn't. Three, I would go. Four, had. Five, I would set up. Wouldn't want, I would give, I spend, spent. Yes, page 90, 94. Then we are going to um, revise conditional, okay? Conditional 2. Wait a minute, thank you. Okay, well, so let's go to page 94. Okay, page 94. Are you there? Good. Exercise one. Well, you have the crosswalk park, river, forest, ocean, field, desert, mountain, garden. Repetition. One park, two river, three mountain, four field, five forest, six ocean, seven desert, and eight garden. Yes, exercise two. One C, two B, three A, four A, five D, six C, seven D, eight B, nine C, 10D. Yes? Okay. Good. So let's go to page 95. Okay. Good, good, good. Anywhere. Three, sorry. Beaver. Alligator. Leopard. Leopard, duck, turtle, anywhere, no one. Ya el no one tiene un, un significado, un negative meaning. Four, three, somewhere, something, five, everyone, six, nothing, seven, everywhere, eight, anything, Nine, everything, and ten, somebody. Exercise five. 
somewhere over the rainbow. Yes, okay. Anything, everyone or everybody, four, no one, nobody, five, everywhere, six, nothing, seven, everywhere, eight, someone, somebody. Is it clear? Well, so now we can go to the book, please. Okay. Well done. So, pay attention now. Yes, okay. So we're going to revise conditional two. Okay. So we have E plus Past plus would plus infinitive. If I won the lottery, I would buy a new car. If I won the lottery, I would help poor people. If I were you, I would study for the test. If I were you, I would drink more water. Yes, okay. If my mother drank more, more water, she's, ah, she was, yeah, she would be, pardon. If my mother drank, yes, more water, she would be healthier, yes. If, if my dad, yes, da, uh, did exercises, he would lose weight. Is it clear? Entonces, hacete unos four examples with conditional two. Okay, is it clear? Right. A round of a round of conditionals. Okay. So what would you do? Now the question would what would you do? What would you do? Yes, what would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do? What what would you do if you lose? Yes, what would you do if you lost weight? What would your mother do? If she drank more water, yes, okay, yes, okay, um, she would be healthy, yes, okay, good. And um, what would happen? Esta está mejor. What would happen? What would happen if your mother drank more water? Ahí nos queda mejor, yes. ¿Qué pasaría si tu mamá bebiera más, bebiese más agua? Yes. If my mother drank more water, she would be healthier. Yes, okay, is it clear? Right, so let's go very quickly to pages 146, 147. Yes, okay, we're going to do exercises one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Okay, in esta, in, on this page and on this unit, you will have start, yes, okay? Start a new life, start a new life, for example. Yes, you have a verb plus a noun. Start a new business, start a family, tenemos el verbo start más un noun. Is it clear? Then you have start to write. Verb start must to infinitive. Yes? Then you have start plus a uh, verb. A como un verbo. Not followed by an object or a verb. And then you have start plus a verb with ing. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, so you have start. Yes, that's to infinity. Start plus the verb with ing. Yes, start. Uh, why don't you start doing exercises? Why don't you start walking? It will be, it, you will be healthier. Yes, okay. Um, start working, start running. I started to run and I, it helped me to lose weight. Yes, is it clear? Yes, all right. So you have the start and the uses, okay? Well, so I will show you a woman, yes, 
Maybe you know her. There we are. There you have her. She's a very intelligent woman. Is the woman you have there in your notebook. Yes? Okay. I want you to describe the picture. This is the woman. This is Dr. Jane Goodall. Yes? Good doll. Yes? Okay. Um, she's a very, she's a very intelligent woman. Yes? Okay. Uh, there is okay. Yes? And what can you see in the picture? Well, in the picture, I can see Jane. She's with a chimpanzee. They are. Yes? They are very near. Yes, they are very near one to each other. Do you know her? Yes? Have you ever seen uh, a documentary about what she does? Yes? Well, um, she arrived, yes, uh, she started a new life in Africa a long time ago. Yes, it was 1960s, it was the 60s, the 1960s, yes. Um, they arrived there, yes. And there she started, it was the Lake Tanganyika in the Gombe National Park, yes. Uh, her mother and her didn't have many things, yes, so they went there, yes. And when she was there, she started running, yes, to the for towards the forest, and she saw, this was when she was a child, See, she, she, she saw her first chimpanzee. Yes, okay. At that time, she didn't know anything about chimpanzees. But then, yes, she started to write all about them on her diary. Yes, okay. She didn't, uh, um, you know, she didn't have qualifications, yes. She wasn't a doctor, she wasn't a scientist, but she started to write all about chimpanzees, yes? Their behaviors, what they, what they used, yes, for cooking, yes, what they made, yes, every day, what they made, yes, to cook, because they made some tools that they use for cooking, for example, Yes, okay. Then, yes, then, yes, as uh, she was, she became famous because she started to do, she started to do different, um, you know, uh, documentaries about chimpanzees, yes. And she was um, asked to go to university, yes, because many scientists were interested in what she did. They are, yes, they are, she started, you know, oh my God, this is a very nice picture, yes, okay, hand to hand, yes, she loved chimpanzees, yes, okay, it's a very nice picture, yes, so, she went to university, yes, she went to university, and she studied, yeah, she studied there, and she became a doctor. So, from not knowing anything, yes, she started, first of all, she started writing down everything on her diary. She uh, um, observed the animals, yes, she observed them, yes, 
okay? She investigates about them and about their environment, yes? And she spent many, many hours, many years there, yes? In contact with them. So many scientists become interested in what she investigated. She went to university, yes? She studied, yes? Uh, she gave lectures, yes, to other doctors, yes, to other people, yes. She became a doctor, so now she had, she was qualified, yes, okay. So, um, during the 70s, yes, there was war in that region, yes, so, Many trees were cut down, yes? So, the chimpanzees, the poor chimpanzees, yes, didn't have a place, a habitat for living. You know, many trees were cut down, yes? There was a, a big amount of uh, people living there. The population started to grow. Yes, so they cut down trees, yes, and the chimpanzees started to lose their natural habitat. So what she did, she was in contact, yes, with local people and said, okay, we have to plant more trees. And she started, yes, okay, uh, to plant more trees with the help of local people. Yes, okay, there she is. That is a very nice picture too, you know? Her place, writing, yes, she's typing. Okay, that is awesome, yes? Okay, so, um, then, yes, then, yes, uh, she was working, yes, uh, to help those young chimpanzees, yes, who have, uh, you know, uh, who have lost their habitat, who have lost their parents, yes, and she gave them a place, a new place to live, yes, so I think her job is, was amazing, is amazing, yes, okay, and nowadays, okay, she gives interviews, lectures, meetings, yes, with government, yes, okay, about uh, the conservation, yes, of these animals, yes, uh, about the rising, about rising money, yes, for uh, the institute she has, yes, okay, and she continues with this research and she continues helping, yes, her friends, yes, okay, um, she's a very 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 intelligent woman i like her work yes okay um and it shows that if you can if you want something in life you can do it yes you have to have a goal in life so she had a goal yes she wanted to help yes chimpanzees okay uh, it's very interesting it's very very interesting Yes, okay, so now you have to read the text, this text highlight ideas, yes, okay, now that you have listened to the speech I gave, you will have an idea about what the text is about, okay, is it clear, yes, right, so start doing the exercises please, okay, one, two, one, one is already done, yes, okay, what's your favorite animal? My favorite is the dolphin, yes, uh, you know, because he can swim very fast, uh, it's very intelligent, but I have another favorite animal that is the penguin, because uh, they are very loyal, yes, okay, did you know that they have the same couple for all their lives, yes, okay, they go, they, they look for food for the little baby, Yes, but then they come back, yes, and when they start a couple, they 
die with this couple, yes? And I think they are, this is a very loyal um, animal, yes, okay? Chimpanzee. Yes, you know, chimpanzee, okay? Um, siempre quiero eh, incitarlos a que cada palabra nueva que tengan, o cada duda que tengan con a, a, any word, any word, yes? Look it up in the dictionary. In the dictionary you have a home, paper version, or the online dictionary, okay? Well, so, um, shall we go? Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay, good. Well, so there we are. Well, two, one, two B, three C, Yes, okay. One, two B, three C, and five. Exercise three. One D, 1960s. Two E, 1960s. Three B, 1966. Four G, 1969. Five C, 1970s. Six A, 1980s. 7, 8, 1989, 8, F, now. Exercise 4. 1, A. 2, C. 3, E. 4, D. 5, B. Okay, so you have tool, natural habitat, Survive, lecture, and conservation. Yes, exercise five. One, no information. Two, three, four, four, true, five, no information. Six, true, seven, no information. Eight, false. Okay, is it clear? Exercise six. One, C. 2A, 3D, 4B. La misma, subrayamos con el highlighter, please. To infinitive, ing, noun phrase, not followed by an object or a verb. Yes, okay. Exercise 7, 1B, 2D, 3C, 4A. Is it clear? Right. So shall we go to pages 148, 149? Yes, okay. Good. So I will show you a picture and you're going to tell me how do you think these animals feel? Yes? And what would you do if you were in that place? Okay? In that situation. So, vamos a usar el condicional, conditional to. If I were in that situation, Okay. There we are. Okay, so what would you do if you were in in this situation? Can you see it there? Yes, okay. Here, okay. What would you do? How would you feel if you were in this situation, in a cage? Yes, okay. I would feel that I have lost my freedom. Yes, I would um, feel scared. I would feel lonely. Yes, okay. I will feel sad. Yes. So this unit 12D is about this. Yes. How do you think animals feel when they are in cages? When they are not in their natural habit, habitat. Yes, okay.
Churro. ¿Vieron? Ponemos una palabra y ya encontrás sumamente la palabra rapidísima. ¿Ok? How would you feel if you were in his situation, in its situation, yeah? Inside a cage, yes? I would feel very sad. I would feel very, um, I would feel without freedom. Uh, I would feel um, exhausted. I would feel uh, lonely, yes, okay? Look at this. How do you think this lion feels inside this small cage? Yes, I think they feel lonely, they feel sad, yes? Because, but sometimes they are born in these cages, yes? So they don't know how to live, yes? If they have to live in their natural habitat, it sometimes it could be impossible. Why? Because some of them were born in captivity. Yes? Is it clear? So they don't know. They have to teach them how to go there. Yes? Okay. Oh my God, the wind. Yes? Okay. It's very windy. Well, so they could feel very sad. I will shut the window. There are many places, many institutions, organizations that work to give them, yes, the similar habitat, yes, and a very nice place to live, yes, okay, because some of them are in danger of extinction, extinction, yes, okay, there are just a few in the world, so we have to look after these animals, okay, well, so, shall we go to pages 148 and 149? Yes, okay, go there. Yes. Okay, well, it says, how do you think the tiger feels? How do you do the girl? Feel. Do you ever visit zoos? Yes, I have visited some zoos, yes, but uh, you know, I sometimes when I see uh, the majority of the time, that's why I don't like going to zoos, yes, because I feel sad when I see these poor animals, you know, in cages, in very small cages. When I went to the Reserva Waikole, yes, I felt the same, I felt the same, completely the same, because I saw those beautiful animals and I, uh, in those cages, and I knew they were okay because they were, they were um, being looked after, yes? But, yes, it could be better if they were free, yes? Okay, in the rainforest, in the jungle, yes, okay? Um, it wasn't fair, yes, okay. This is their place. I am free, but they are not free. Yes, so it, make me, it makes me feel sad, yes. What about you, what do you think? Yes, and in this case, yes, it says the photo shows a girl in a zoo looking through a glass at a tiger in an enclosure. The tiger may feel confused by the people in the glass or may be thinking of them as lunch. <laughs> the girl feels, it, the girls, yes, feel, ex, porque son dos creo, muchas, yes, two at least, feel excited seeing a tiger or sorry that is in cage, yes. I don't like seeing animals, well, this is your opinion, yes, what do you think, yes, do you like going, yes, to zoos, yes, I don't like going to zoos, I have taken my daughter, but um, I prefer looking at them through documentaries, yes, but being there in the jungle, free, 
yes, where they belong, yes, okay? So, you're going to read the newspaper extract, extract, and you're going to answer, answer these questions, yes? Animals have nowhere to go. The city's zoo is going to close in six months' time. If the city council cannot solve the problem of low visitor numbers and lack of money, the zoo manager is worried about the animal, the animals at the zoo. If the zoo closed, this is conditional too, they wouldn't be able to go back into their natural, natural habitat. We would have to find them a new home. Yes, so you have to answer the questions in exercise two. Yes, okay? Right, pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer. The problem of low visitor numbers and lack of money. Three, the zoo would have to find them another place to live, another home. Yes, number one, no, only in the city, only if the city council cannot solve the problem. So they will um, shut the, the zoo if they cannot solve this problem of the lack of money. Yes, okay, the lack of visitors, the lack of money. Yes, okay. Well, so we are going to go to the listening number uh, 98, exercises 3 and 4. Yes, you are going to do the two exercises with the same listening and then... Listen to the answers, okay? Can you highlight finding a solution? Yes, the problem is that. We could also, that's a good idea. Yes, but not that would work. Yes, so highlight the chart and do exercises three and four with the listening, okay? Is it clear? Right, there we are. Track 98, Unit 12D. I'm very worried about the situation. The problem is that the zoo will close without the council's help. How about giving us more money? I'm sorry, but the council doesn't have any more money for the zoo. But if we don't find a solution soon, then we'll have to close it. And the zoo is part of the city. It's a tourist attraction. Yes, but that's the point. It just isn't attracting enough tourists. You're going to have to find the money from somewhere else. It's also an important place for animal conservation. If we didn't have zoos, some of these animals wouldn't survive. I understand that, but we need to find a different solution. Yes, that's the problem, yes. Okay, if we uh, didn't have zoos, Yes, they wouldn't survive, yes, so zoos are necessary. But the thing is that sometimes uh, it is necessary to change uh, the way they treat animals, yes, and sometimes they, they, they have a lot of animals and they can't have a good place to stay, yes, uh, as big as they need, yes, is it clear? What if you advertise the zoo more? In the newspaper, on the radio, or online, for example. But if we don't have any money, we can't advertise. Okay, so advertise, sacar propagandas, yes? But what he, say is, what he says is that if we don't have enough money, we can't advertise, yes? Because for advertisement and on the radio or uh, online, you have to pay, of course. Well, why don't you try sponsorship? You know, ask a company to support the zoo. Hmm, actually, that isn't a bad Sponsors. idea. Yeah. You might be right. I have the names of some company bosses you could contact. Okay, so you can play it again. Yes, okay, I won't bring the chair back, okay? One, now is the time that you listen, listen it again. Do activity four and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. Number one, true. Number two, false. Number three, true. Number four, false. Number five, true. Exercise four. What about two? I'm sorry, but three. 
but if we don't, four. What if you? Five, we can't. Six, why don't you? Seven, that isn't. Eight, you might. Is it clear? Right. So now I will go to the explanation. Yes, you have the same article I will project in your notebook. Okay, so don't worry if you can't see it from here. Yes, okay, it's this article on page 148. This article, the brainstorming, yes, okay, mind map también se le dice a esto. Yes, ustedes ya saben cómo hacer un mind map, un brainstorming, yes, okay. ¿Para qué sirve el brainstorming? To organize your ideas. Yes, vos seguí por favor en el en, en tu texto. Yes. So you have to read an article about a place called the Eden Project and answer the question. What can you see in the project? Why do people visit the Eden? Yes, project. You are going to read it now. Yes, okay. For example, if you have questions with Eden, Eden pronunciation. Eden. 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 Yes. Eden. Eden. Yes. Okay. Eden. Y le pones ahí la pronunciación. Okay. Eden. Right. Well. So, um, if you why too many things, many people go to Eden um, project to visit the Eden project. Yes. Okay. So there we are. Okay. And then. I'm going to teach you how you have to plan, yes, your article, okay? So it says, when you plan an article, it's useful to write questions and organize the information from your research using a mind map. Match the question from A to F to the information from F to Z. What is the place? This is very important. You have to name the place because now you have to write this for, uh, for homework. You have to write an article and you will have to organize your idea. So why is it for? Yes, okay. What is the place? Yes, okay. So you need to put, yes, what is the place? Okay. Yes, okay. And then, when and where did it, it, did it open? Yes, because you are going to talk about a place you like or a place you would like to visit. Yes, okay, for example, the Catarata, the, the Iwasu Rainfall, um, the Iwasu Waterfall, yes, okay? Say, so, when and where did it open? What else is there? ¿Qué más hay en ese lugar? Yes, why is it important? What's the most interesting thing about this place? Who visits it? ¿Quién visita este lugar? Yes, entonces, todas estas questions are going to help you, all these questions are going to help you to organize your article. Yes? Okay. Is it clear? Well, obviamente, obviously you will have the introduction, the body and the ending. Introducción, el cuerpo, el nudo y el desenlace. Yes? Okay. Como siempre. So, you are going to introduce your topic in the introduction. That is the paragraph one. Yes? As here, it says, seen it open in 2001 in the southwest of England, millions of people have visited the Eden Project and learned about the natural, the natural, natural, sorry, natural world. It is one of England's most important tourist destinations. 
Yes, okay? So this would be the introduction. Esa va a ser tu introducción. Then you have paragraph two and paragraph three. And then, yes, the conclusion in the paragraph four. Yes? I would recommend this to tourists. Yes? Because it is a wonderful place. It is very important for nature. Yes, okay? And you can see, you will see a lot. Of, I, re, I would recommend, yes, going to uh, the Cataratas, uh, the, the Iwasu Rain uh, Waterfalls, yes, because it's a place that is plenty of good energy. You could see a lot of animals, yes, from the place, yes, okay? You could, you could have, um, you will have a contact with local people, yes, okay? And you would see a wide variety of plants, yes? Is it clear? Entonces, ahí vas a recomendar, yes, okay? Entonces, puedes guiarte con el paragraph. Dice, so, Eden Project is not just a tourist attraction. It aims to educate people about the importance of plants in our lives and to protect plants which are in danger of extinction, yes? Entonces, ahí cerras tu texto, yes, okay? Well, um, acá tenemos un mind map. El nombre, como hacemos con las short stories, The Eden Project, si vos vas a describir las cataratas del Iguazú, Iguazú uh, Waterfall, yes, tourists, los biomas que hay en ese lugar, Yes, okay, you can say plants and animals. In 1002, in south of England, where is it? Outdoor gardens, art, theater, so all the activities you can do there. Yes, so you put the name in the middle, tourists, paragraph two, you introduce, in, introduction, yes, to introduce the topic. Then in paragraph two, you talk about tourists. In paragraph three, you can talk about the plants and animals you can see there, and the ones that are in danger of extinction. Uh, then, on another paragraph, you can talk about the activities, all the activities that you can do in the Iwasu waterfall, yes. In another paragraph, you can talk about the hotels, yes, and uh, the restaurants you can go to, yes, and then, in the last paragraph, if you recommend it or not, and why could you recommend it, okay? Is it clear? He explicado entonces el um, article, yes, okay? Number one, yes, number one. Yes, are you there? Good, good, good. Huge plastic domes called biomas. Yes, okay, we'll check the pronunciation of biomas. And in what I will write it quickly. Biomass, yes. Biome. Biome. Yes, okay, biome. Good. Yes. Uh, the rainforest biome and the Mediterranean biome, as well as outdoor gardens, art exhibitions, theater performance, performances, and outdoor concerts. Two, to see the biomes and exhibits, to learn about the na natural world, yes, and to do courses in plants and nature. Yes, okay, good. Then you have B, yes, okay? 
one B, two, uh, sorry, one B, three C, five D, six E, four F. Perdón. A one, B three, C five, six E, four, six E, four F. Yes, and that's all. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Right? Good, I'm checking. Good. Well, that is all from here. Yes, shall we go to the revision now? Yes, okay. Page 152. You have to do it and you will be free. Yes, okay. Exercises one, two, three, five, and seven. Exercises one, two, three, five, and seven. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. One would go, two rained, three lived, four would need, five didn't like. Exercise two. If I had a million dollars, this is private, I would travel around the world. Yes, I like traveling. If I could go anywhere in the world, I could go to... I have three places. Italy, France and Germany. Yes. If I lived in another country, I would live in France. I like France. Yes, okay. Exercise three. Nowhere, everywhere. Number two. Someone, somewhere. Three. Anyone, anywhere. Four. Everyone, anything. Five. Nobody, everybody. Six, something, nothing. En esto quiero que estudien para el exam, para la, la revision, cuáles son para personas, todos los terminados en body, sí, para cosas, yes, ok, where, para lugares, ok, pero quiero que te estudien los que tienen negative meaning, para saber cuándo completar con cuál, yes, ok, number, uh, number five. Four to one, I early, uh, early morning or late afternoon, very snowy, yes, storm, uh, snowstorm, four to two, could be the afternoon, two, flat, three, night, lining, exercise seven, what about opening a new zoo, why don't we ask for help? If we don't advertise, we won't sell any products. We won't sell any products if we don't advertise. The problem is that many people don't recycle plastic. I'm sorry, but I won't, that won't work. That's a good idea, okay? Well, so, see you next class. Do homework, write your article, send it to me, yes? And 